Ours is a not-for-profit organization with a vision that everyone should have access to high-quality health care, irrespective of their financial status. Being an innovator department in allogenic transplantation in an LMIC, we face some unique challenges like getting expert manpower, technology, and infrastructure. However, in the last 10 years, we've been able to overcome these hurdles and offer state-of-the-art and complex treatments like haploidentical transplantation to our patients. Interesting to note, our cost has been about one-tenth of that in a developed country. The results have been comparable and are reported yearly to national and international registries. We have done some pioneering work and publication in microtransplantation where mismatched lymphocytes are used for the tumor killing acute myeloid leukemia. This has shown promising results in patient outcomes and we are proud to have played a role in advancement in this field. To address the paucity of trained manpower in the region, we have comprehensive residency and fellowship programs for doctors, nurses and paramedics. Professionals trained by us are currently working in different centers in India and internationally. We also focus on research, including clinical trials and publications. Being a LMIC, we are conscious of the need to reduce costs of healthcare without compromising the quality. We follow all international protocols and guidelines in patient care. In the above context, we have aseptic protocols, antibiotic stewardship program, bed management policy to regulate occupancy, and use of generic medications at all points of care. We have never compromised on quality in patient care. Stem cell epheresis, CD34 enumeration by flow cytometry, control rate freezing for cryopreservation of stem cells, liquid nitrogen storage, stem cell viability tests, immunohematology tests to guide the transfusions. We adhere to highest of standards. We also have a robust donor epheresis program in association with the national and international registries. One of the offshoots of the transplant program has been the introduction of the pediatric BMT services, the youngest recipient being a two-month-old baby. We cater to emergency and elective transplants and have excellent backup from the lab services that help in timely diagnosis of conditions like inborn errors of immunity. I was diagnosed with multiple myeloma in 2015, January, and after six months, that was in July 2015, I had the stem cell transplant. After the transplant, I had nausea, hair loss, skin has become dark and all that. And my doctors have helped me in every stage. I'm thankful to them, especially my doctor, Dr. Neeraj Siddharth, Dr. Rema and their team. In the near future, we look forward to collaboration and in-house manufacturing of CAR T cells to make it more affordable. I'm truly humbled and I want to take a moment and thank all the patients and their families who have trusted us with their lives and love. And thank you everyone who've been part of this incredible journey.